Surprise, surprise, surprise. Samsung is looking to introduce a record-breaking design change with its next big thing, which is going to be the Galaxy S25 Ultra in 2025. Ever since the design of the Galaxy S22 Ultra, Samsung has been trying to achieve this super square slim design shape for their flagship phone, which they have done with the S24 Ultra. As much as I personally love it, it's definitely not the most comfortable ultra flagship phone to use on the market right now. Which is why Samsung is about to introduce this huge change. According to the biggest Samsung leakster on the planet, Ice Universe, he says that it is 100% confirmed that the S25 Ultra will not crush your palm, it's actually going to have a very rounded design. And you might be thinking, how rounded? Well, this is going to be a design similar to the rounded level of the Galaxy Note 7. If anyone who has used the Note 7 back in the days, you would know how comfortable and well designed this flagship phone really was. Apart from the exploding battery issue, the Note 7 was definitely one of my favorite Android flagship phones from Samsung of all time. So now the spirit of the Galaxy Note 7 is making a return with the S25 Ultra. Although we don't know how the final design will look, thanks to this concept imagination, we can see how the S25 Ultra will look with the Note 7 rounded design. It will still likely continue the same kind of design language set by the S24 Ultra while making it more comfortable to use, which is a big win. Now you might be thinking, what is so record-breaking about this design? Well, according to Ice Universe, Galaxy S25 Ultra will have a body thickness of just 8.4 mm, which is the thinnest form factor Samsung has ever made for their S Ultra model. Just for comparison, S24 Ultra is 8.6 mm, so Samsung is definitely breaking the boundary here. And no, they are actually not dropping the S Pen whatsoever. The S25 Ultra will still have a built-in S Pen with this record-breaking thin design. So if you're someone who has always admired Samsung's design for its thinness and lightness, congratulations because Samsung is about to make the design even better for the future. Honestly, I can't wait to see how the final design of the S25 Ultra will look. Let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section below. Also in the news, we have another major surprising rumor regarding the S25 series. Instead of using Qualcomm or Exynos chip, we might actually see for the first time MediaTek chips on the Galaxy S25 slash S25 Plus. Yes, according to South Korean media, because of the price hike that's coming with the A Gen 4 chip from Qualcomm next year, Samsung is actually for the first time thinking of implementing MediaTek chips for their Galaxy S25 and the S25 Plus in addition to their Exynos 2500 chips which are also in plans. Now in the previous video, we talked about how Samsung is currently facing issues in the yield of the Exynos 2500 so if they fail to make enough of their own chips, they're likely going to use MediaTek as their backup plan. Honestly, this is such a great news because MediaTek's flagship chips are almost on the same level as the best chips from Qualcomm. And they are definitely better than Samsung's Exynos chips. Again, we're still very far away from the official launch of the S25 series, so things can still change. But one thing that is certain is that Galaxy S25 Ultra will remain Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 exclusive. Apart from the new design change, as we talked about before, we're going to see not one but two new major camera changes on the S25 Ultra. First one is the brand new 3x 50 megapixel telephoto lens and then finally a long-awaited ultra wide angle upgrade coming at 50 megapixel resolution. That's all for this video. Subscribe if you're new here. With that being said, I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.